The New Orleans Inspector General sent a report today to the district attorney recommending felony charges against the former head of the city's 911 emergency system. WWL investigator David Hammer broke that story in June that the 911 director, Tyrell Morris, covered up her accident, a car accident in a government vehicle. Now here's David with the latest. Orleans Parish Communications District Director Tyrell Morris was driving a public vehicle when he got in a fender bender the night of his birthday, May 7th. Here he is stopped in the middle lane of Elysian Fields Avenue waiting at a red light at Interstate 610. As the light turns green, Morris veers right, hitting the car in the right lane. Fender benders happen. It's what Morris did next that the inspector general says might be felonies. Morris filed this insurance report, claiming he was in the right lane and the other car swerved around him to the right and hit him. Then we pulled up the metadata of OPCD's vehicle policy and discovered Morris changed it on May 11th, four days after the accident, to make it look like he wasn't required to submit to a drug and alcohol screening. City Councilwoman Helena Moreno wanted Morris suspended. David, I remember you calling me and you telling me about the metadata. I didn't even understand like really what that meant, you know, and then you explained it to me what you were seeing in the documents with the metadata. But Mayor LaToya Cantrell stood by Morris for weeks. Now District Attorney Jason Williams says his prosecutors will screen the case referred by the IG. The crash video also shows Morris used his police lights. The IG report says the other driver claims Morris referred to himself as a police officer. Morris was never a commissioned officer, but he often wore a police chief's uniform and stars in a badge that looks like an NOPD badge. We also asked Cantrell about that this summer. Does he have a badge? Is that an NOPD you, badge that he wears and four stars? Are those part of an NOPD uniform? Are you being funny right now? There's nothing funny about the broader damage Moreno says Morris caused at OPCD. I mean, I think that there were abuses of power by him on a variety of different levels, and this IG report captures a piece of that. Now, we reached out to Morris's attorney, Brian Capitelli, and shared the report with him. He did not have any comment. Now, the IG report says Morris declined to be interviewed by pleading his Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate himself. And sure. by the way, David, you got another in a report or another update and another investigation with the Sewage and Water Board. What's going on with that? That's right. That's right. Uh, we, um, you know, uh, Jay Arnold, the former head of the Sewage and Water Board's plumbing department, was sentenced today for stealing more than $100,000 in plumbing fees. We did our investigation of Arnold in November 2021. The very next day, the FBI raided the Sewage and Water Board Plumbing Department. This summer, Arnold pled guilty to pocketing $108,000 in permitting fees paid by area plumbers. That should have gone to the Sewage and Water Board. He was sentenced to 90 days home confinement, four years probation, and he must pay back the stolen fees in restitution. You're always on top of it, David. Thank you so much for that update for both of those stories. Thanks, Teresa. All right. And